My name is Maximilian Yap. I'm from Seattle, Washington, but grew up in Singapore. I studied at Anglo-Chinese School Independent, and I only got one offer, but it was the one that mattered, from Cornell, and I'll be studying economics there next year. So it was always my intention to go study in the US because I'm a US citizen, though I've lived here for most of my life. I think in part it was the need to experience a different culture, a different world from what I've grown up in. So I think from a big picture, Crimson helped give me a realistic view of what I was capable of and what I needed to do to get into a college I wanted to. So I think that for myself, I was somewhat pessimistic about my chances of getting into a, a prestigious university because I feel looking at so many of these stellar resumes online and these incredible stories that I couldn't quite measure up. And so it was only with a bit of urging and some understanding of how I could frame myself that I knew I could, in, I in fact, could take a shot at these universities. So I'd say one of the biggest helps from Crimson was uh, Brian Moore. He was my strategy tutor and he helped keep me focused on all the moving parts in the application. So things like the extracurriculars, the essays, the interviews, he helped coordinate all of that. So he was really like a cornerstone that I could ask any questions about the process to. My essay mentor was Nicola and he was a huge help in helping me craft a coherent picture of who I was so that I wasn't pulled in a lot of different directions. In addition to also helping me with the language and making it clear but also engaging and also while, without drowning out my voice. So I still felt that I, would, I, would, I was the one writing the essay without someone else taking it over and I felt that that was really important to me. I think what would have been difficult was pursuing my extracurriculars by myself because as a Singaporean student, you're very used to a test-focused mentality, whether it be academic tests or competitions for sports. And so you don't really realize that you need to pursue your own projects yourself and that doesn't really follow a set path. And so working with my extracurricular counselor, Amy, helped me set deadlines that by this date, I want to show to her something, what I, have, what I have done and what I have accomplished. So that helped motivate me and give me clear goals to focus on. I think the biggest challenge was the college essays and specifically uh, the Common App essays and, and really the U Chicago essay because those, those essay questions are really uh, quirky and I love them for that. But in general, the Common App essays, they really force you to dig and unearth parts of yourself that you've never had to confront and show an honest but reflective side of yourself which is why I found it tremendously difficult and wouldn't have been possible without um, the input of my friends, my family and uh, the mentors from Crimson. It was in the middle of December and I was looking at these eight other colleges that I was planning to write essays for and it was going to take up most of my holiday before I before I went to NS. So it's going to take up basically an entire month. And I remember getting this text from my dad because he was, he was on a plane um, somewhere and saying that you got in. Then sending me the link to check it. I remember looking at it and being so, so alive. Like my whole body was on, on fire. And I remember jumping up and down the whole day. And then yeah, I was so happy for the rest of that day. Oh man. So because Cornell was my early decision, it meant that it was binding. And so I didn't have to, I couldn't write any more essays to any more universities. And that basically freed up the rest of my holidays to enjoy with my family. And on top of that, I mean, I got into uh, an Ivy League university. I mean, it was beyond what I ever expected I, would, I was capable of achieving. So if I were to talk to myself from three years ago, when I was just starting out JC in the home stretch towards applying for college, I'd say first, even though it seems difficult with exams, to try and apply during JC, because for the guys, national service really throws a wrench in the works. I'd say secondly, 
start thinking about it early because too many of my friends tried to uh, do standardized testing or their essays concurrently with their exams and it really divided their attention. So trying to clear out things like standardized testing early, which will last for five years, and spacing out those requirements gives you a lot more, it takes a lot of pressure off of you. And it, it gives you more flexibility and more space to think. So that would be my basic advice.